So making the yarn bowls, what, two weeks ago now? Got me thinking, this bowl is incredibly stiff. It's really hard. I mean, it can just take almost anything. So it got me thinking, what else can we make out of this? What about a yarn frisbee? I picked this guy up um, at the dollar store for a dollar. Is that unlike a glass bowl, resin will totally stick to plastic, so we need to coat this. And the easiest way to do that is simply with packing tape. Resin does not stick to packing tape. And it doesn't need to be perfect because we're gonna be putting yarn on it. And I don't expect the yarn to be perfect. And if you expect the yarn to be perfect, then you're probably on the wrong channel. And for the yarn, I'm gonna use the super colorful orange one that I stole from Mrs. Brown's stash. Don't worry, she doesn't care. There we go. Yeah, it's, special effects are a little low here. And if we need more than this, we can just cut more than that. All right, so what I wanna do is I wanna soak this. I mean, I want it soaked in resin. I'm gonna be using West Systems, and I'm just gonna use four pumps from each, which might actually be getting me close to the bottom of this container. I've lost count. Oh, crud. I totally lost count. I hope that was four. Mix it up real well. Nine times out of 10, if somebody says, my resin didn't set up, the answer is they didn't mix it long enough. Take the time. We want this soaking. It's the soaking wet yarn that is the strongest in my yarn bowl. And so since we're gonna be throwing this around, I would say not appetizing. All right, that is soaking wet. That is exactly what we want. I'm gonna to try to locate the end. I found the end of it. And now we're just gonna start putting it in the middle here. All right, and then we're just gonna start wrapping this around the middle. Now, the last time I did this, this twisting method worked really well. Ah, yeah, and the twisting isn't working as well. I think it's because it worked really well last time because of the glass. So the packing tape is not as slick as glass sprayed down with mold release. We're just gonna have to go and do this the old fashioned way. The way grandma used to make yarn frisbees out of resin. My grandmother was probably one of the coolest people I knew. She, uh, she worked for Universal Studios. She was a costumer for Universal Studios. She had a picture with Tom Selleck up on her, her mantle. Grandma was cooler than anyone in the whole family. My cup fell over while I was pulling all the yarn out. I made a mess here on the bench. We should be able to use a lot of this. Not sure how well it's going to stay up on the side. That could be interesting. All right, I think that's good. I don't know if scissors can cut through the epoxy yarn. Yeah, they don't seem to have any luck with that. Great. I already took off my gloves. Now my hands are gonna be covered in resin. It's been a number of days now. Should be well cured. Um, remember when I said it doesn't stick to packing tape? Oh, there we go. See in some places the resin actually leaked out of the yarn super shiny on the back. 
there are definitely some sharp edges on here that will need to be sanded down. Okay. Uh, I guess. Oh, jeez. Oh. <laughs> Does that hurt? Yeah. Okay. Look at, see, I'm not being crazy. Look, it's like, it's scratched. Oh, yeah, it's going to be great. <laughs> it actually flies pretty straight. It flies really straight. It's nice, too, because the orange, you won't be able to see the blood so well. <laughs> That's true. It actually works perfect for that. Yeah, actually it flies really well. Good, catch. Good job.